That's the Giandel. Giandel. This is the number one best-selling inverter for some reason on Amazon. So this inverter has a couple really neat features, and I was not unhappy to pick this thing up just because of these features. One, it's going to have big battery cables that come with it with terminals there's no cigarette lighter to plug into to be honest if you were trying to plug this kind of drain into a cigarette lighter you would actually damage your cigarette lighter port and you'd blow a fuse almost immediately so that's not going to happen so it has a remote control uh, line so you can put this safely in a, a hold or some area so you've got inverter power to these two outlets you're gonna have a USB port as well here, you can see. So you can plug USB directly into it. You have a choice between gel batteries and the lead batteries down below. So that's gonna set the cutoff points. So it's gonna have some protection already built into it. So your voltage, if it gets too low, it's gonna cut itself off. Um, it does have a very interesting thing down here, which is a PV input or panel voltage input. This unit is a solar charge controller as well as an inverter. It's the first one I've ever seen like that. So you're seeing right here, this unit. What that means is if we're gonna add solar to our system, which is what we're planning to do anyway, this thing can control that current and can actually charge your batteries. That's another reason that it has the selector <laughs> for the battery type is because it's gonna send voltage back through these cords and back into the battery. So if we have our battery monitor working and running the way we want, it's actually gonna be able to add to the battery while the inverter's running. So that's kind of neat. We could also run 1200 watts is a pretty good amount. Like you're thinking, okay, well, I've got a thousand watt microwave, let's say. So I could run on 1200 watts. Well, microwaves are kind of funny. They actually use about one and a half times their rated. Sometimes they use even more than that. And what happens is they just duty cycle. So they'll use a thousand watts, wait for a little bit, a thousand watts. You'll hear them coming in and off. Um, and what that's doing is it's the equivalent of 600 watts, but they'll have a thousand watt uh, magnometer or whatever it is in there. So in this case, I'm running this fan. You can see the, the beard blowing away in the wind. <laughs> so this fan is working. I'm running this fan off of the inverter. Now, what's interesting about this whole power system that I've got here is I can unplug my charger here, and now I'm running everything off of this inverter. If I go ahead and hit this power button up here, I've turned off power and my fan comes to a stop. If I hit it again, it's gonna have an easy start here. Now it's starting back up and the inverter is in use. Now the inverter on this style, I need to show you a couple interesting things about it. Um, 1200 watts is a lot of capacity. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I want a 2000 watt inverter. 1200 watts is about the maximum you would want to run with a 100 amp hour battery. So when you're running this thing, you're kind of matched for your maximum load here. Um, this may have a you know temporary uh, surge current, but this is supposed to be 1200 watts continuous, but it is gonna have dual fans back here. So you're gonna have two fans that are gonna be able to, to run to cool it off. But what I like about it here, compared to some of those other solar power banks that you carry around, is the fans don't run if you're not using a lot. Uh, another interesting thing about it is it has shock mounted feet. So when this thing is on and there's any vibration, it's actually gonna protect it both ways. One, the fans aren't gonna vibrate or rattle whatever it's connected to. And two, if you're vibrating or rattling your van down the road, it's not gonna you know, mess with the fans. It's got a little bit of vibration mounting, so that was cool.